Stuff here. I'm here with Daniel, my brother, my boy Kevin, man. What's up, baby? You ready for this? Yeah, Complex Con 2018. I'm ready. I brought my books. What's cooking, guys? This video is about the annoying things that happen at Compass Con that I really hope they fix or really like, you know, change things up. Oh so yeah, that no, it's they, just they, a much better experience. Definitely, time. because these three things I bet everybody knows about at Compass Con. Everybody. So before we walked into Compass Con, we used the Adidas map to plan our whole schedule of what places we we're gonna hit at Compass Con. Now the Adidas map is in the Compass Con app, so we really thought it was gonna be reliable, and we just thought that you know we had everything set up already based on the map that was on the yep. app already. Yeah, we were already saying okay, we're gonna hit this. And then from there, we're gonna travel straight up there and it should be there, like all that stuff, yeah, right? We had it all planned out. Until we actually got in there. We got in there and I got a separate map. It was an actual foldable map that they gave us. And when we compared both maps, we were like, wait a minute. So we started heading up to PacSun, which we thought where it was located next to McDonald's on the Compass Con app. Until we started doing like 360s all around the whole thing and we're like, where is PacSun? And so we actually looked at the map and we said, okay, this thing says all the way across. And you gotta know, this thing's huge. Compass Con is huge. huge. So it's not like take two steps and you're there. It's like you take about 50 steps and you dodge a lot of traffic to get there. And it wasn't a big deal, but it did cost us a lot of time because we had to find the location and find out which map to be looking at and stuff like that. Exactly. So during that time, lines started getting longer and longer and longer. So by the time we actually did find PacSun, like yeah. they, they really sold out right in front of us. So we waited for like almost two hours in the PacSun line <laughs> for no reason, just to come back the next day and try again. Exactly. And that leads us to our next one, which is lines. Now. With lines, we weren't expecting it to be short or anything. We knew there were going to be long lines and we were going to have to be waiting yeah. for such a long time. We were expecting the worst. Once we started seeing people cut in front of us or behind us, we started getting a little ticked off. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, we were fine with like one or two people cutting us. And then once you start noticing, it's, it starts piling up. And yeah. then, you know, in total, it becomes like 20 people that just cut you. And that's when it starts becoming unfair. And we actually have a video here where we called this guy out Jeez. that cut twice. And here's what he said when we talked to him. Weren't you like in front of us and then now you're back here again? How did you get the line so fast? No, 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 no. I was. I'm with guys, them. You, don't, you don't care if you let him cut you like that? I'm with them. You already. What do you mean? You were in front of us and then you. Like, I get it, bro. You got one, you know what I mean? But at this point, you're already being greedy and you're cutting everybody who does not have one. Yeah, bro, I'm with them. You're cool with them just getting in front of Like, he already has a lot. This is why I came. He's just the best way he already had a bag full of Funko Pops. We were going to wait in line for the Steve Van Doren Funko Pops, right? So we're waiting in line, and out of nowhere, this kid goes under the little, like, security roll, whatever, and it jumps in, like, jumps in line, and he starts talking to us. And I'm looking at Jose and his brother, I'm like, okay, I'm guessing he knows them because clearly he just hopped in and started talking to us. But that was the same case for them because they thought I knew him and, you know, he was just talking to us. But that, that wasn't it. And out of nowhere, it started getting very awkward. Like, we weren't talking at all. And then he just starts yeah. talking to the people next to him. And he literally cuts underneath just to talk to them. And then he just starts finessing his way out of it, basically. Now, the thing that pissed me off about that kid was that when I was in line and he cut in front of us, I told him, like, dude, you got to go behind Yeah, him. yeah. And, then and, when I, and I, when I squeezed in front of him, he started pushing. Me. Yeah, and he pushed and me and too. He started saying, chill, chill, chill. Like, yeah. I was like, we didn't like start yelling at him or anything. We're just no. looking at each other, like, all right, you know what? It's whatever, right? We, we understand but, that we're going to actually get something, hopefully, at the end of that day. But clearly, he was trying to get his way out of it. So, if stores at Compass Con can actually make lines better by actually giving out tickets or registering people that are in line, that way no one can cut in front of you because if they're not registered or have a ticket, they can't cut yeah, anymore. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. that would, that would, you know, move lines much quicker. People would be able to enjoy more things exactly. and not really get frustrated. Because honestly, I was getting frustrated every single time mm -hmm. I saw that happen in front of me. Now, there was a lot of things, a lot of great things that were being released. At oh, Compass no, Con. definitely. This, you know, left and right. Yeah, left and right. I'm telling you, you cannot say I had no chance to get anything because you did. It was from the smallest thing to Everything. even the biggest thing. Everything. So, honestly, the amount of opportunities you had in that whole event was just amazing. But the thing that did suck and the thing they should improve on is the Wi-Fi connection. Obviously, if you're doing a show, an event in a convention center, you're not going to have the best LTE connection in the first place. So, everybody had to switch to Wi-Fi. Now, there was Wi-Fi options there. There yes. was an Adidas and Compass Con Wi-Fi option, but none of them were fast enough because so many people were on it There's at the same time. There's thousands and thousands of people using the exact same Wi-Fi you had, at and the that same just time. brings everything slower. Like, we're talking kilobytes. I did a test connection, and it was like 500 kilobytes, and I'm like, yep. this is worse than McDonald's Wi-Fi. But luckily, we were able to play our cards right and manage to cop some heat, and here's what we got. So we got a Funko Pop from PacSun, and we had a few of these. We had yeah. one in the back there. We also got Fear God uh, Converse, Converse yes. which have never been released yet. 
and has not released so, online. So ladies and gentlemen, this right here is the gem. Yeah, so everyone that got lucky with this, y'all got lucky. And then we also have the Union Vance collab here, the polka dot pattern, which are pretty dope too, so. That's that. And you know, last but not least, sadly, you know, my name's Daniel, ends with an L, right? And we just had to leave without copying a couple of bits, you know what I mean? And there's still more coming from Frenzy as well. But the downside about all this is that we weren't able to enjoy any of the other things going on, like the music or the talks. Because we strictly only focused on the releases and waiting in line and doing all this for to cop all this. It just wasn't possible for us to go out and like have fun. Man, I want to see the talks with Gary Vee, Virgil, and like, you know, performing artists just, like Lil Baby and all that stuff. But I couldn't see or even attend it because uh, I had to just get bricks. I mean, was it worth it? Yes, but honestly, I wish I would have had more experience at the event than just getting shoes. Now, the chase was very fun. It was like a treasure hunt kind of thing where every single hour there was something, every single hour. But that's the thing, like, if you wait for every single hour to happen, you can't just go and like enjoy the event and then run back to you know, you know catch some stuff that drop at, exactly. in the next hour. So it was really hard, but it was overall worth it for us because this was really an investment for us to go there. So we had to drive there and you know book a spot to stay in so but if you guys did go to compass con and you copped anything let us know in the comment section down below or if you did want to go to compass con uh what would you get so for 2019's compass con i really hope they improve on a lot of these things i know it's a work in progress type thing every single time these things happen but overall we did have fun we did cop some breaks anyways guys if you guys haven't joined our discord yet it's free right now link is down below we'll see you guys next time take care peace see y'all next video